Let's quickly just go over the rules here. Um, so this is a uh, special tournament uh, wherein each player has to bring two lists, uh, a, a Imperial list and a Rebel list, and they are only allowed to use ships that are uh, available in the original trilogy movies. And we're talking uh, the, the original or original trilogy, not the special editions. Right, the proper original yeah, the trilogy. Prop, uh, I mean, I, I grew up with the special editions, kind of, so I've never had a real problem with it. But um, <laughs> a lot of people, sticklers for that original trilogy, goodness. So um, uh, so that, that discounts us a few options, like the YT-2400, which is in the special edition, but not in the original trilogy. Um, but uh, so th that's basically the only real limitation. You have to use uh, original trilogy ships. Um, you can, however, use later pilots for those original tri original trilogy ships. For example, Kelvin here is running a ray on the on the Falcon. Um, that's totally allowed by the rules. We're also allowed using any and all upgrades except for twin laser turret. That's the only one that's been banned. Correct. Uh, if only to prevent, uh, you know, quad Y-wings from dominating the whole whole meta. Uh, that being said, though, this is different than, say, like a Wave 3 meta um, tournament because we're including the newer upgrades and, and some newer pilots and stuff. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see the combination of old ships with new upgrades and see how that plays out. Uh, so, we've got here uh, Kelvin Lau and versus Josh Dirksen, and it looks like Kelvin has... Uh, uh, is playing Rebels in this first round. And he also does have initiative. Oh, he does have initiative, okay. Uh, good to know. Uh, and um, uh, so Kelvin here has got Jake Farrell, uh, pretty standard Jake, PTL, Veteran Instincts, uh, Proton Rockets, Auto Thrusters, A Wing Test Pilot, as well as Ray. Uh, so this is a combination you would not have seen way back in Wave 3. Um, we've got Ray with expertise, Kanan, Finn, uh, scavenger crane, smuggling compartment, countermeasures. Lots of the new upgrades. Yeah. This is a great Ray build. Um, yeah, so I actually like that scavenger crane, uh, countermeasures combo. Um, you don't see it too often. I like running that on, on my, uh, dash builds, uh, cause it, just that extra die helps keep, um, keep, uh, it keeps the ship alive a bit longer. Uh, right. As well as the ability to chuck a target lock when you need it. And it looks like Josh has four Scimitar Squadron pilots, um, three running extra munitions, thread tracers, homings, seismics, chips, and then a shuttle with fleet officer, systems officer, twin ion, and the, the title. I always forget, what does fleet officer do? Fleet officer is... Let's take a quick little look at that. Yeah, you've got your uh, full pile of upgrade cards here. Um, systems officer is the one that allows them to sh uh, allows him to hand out target locks. Correct. So, correct. So fleet officer is a three point crew. Mm -hmm. Imperial only is an action. Oh, Choose yeah. up to two friendly ships at range one to two and assign one focus token to each of those ships. Yep. Then take a stress. Right. Okay. So we've got one shuttle handing out focuses and target locks to the other shuttles or other bombers. That is. Uh, and they're ready to just launch off all those homing missiles. Right. It's an interesting call. I mean, he threw that uh, fleet officer on, and then with the Mark IIs to help bleed stress a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And looks like we've got Ray just setting up more or less in a joust with Jake pulling in on the side. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because Ray flies so different than uh, the old fat hand. Um, who had to basically run around the board, uh, whereas Ray needs to joust. Um, so that's something you don't see, or you didn't see way back when with um, uh, with the Falcon. I can kind of see why he's setting up for that joust, though, because he has countermeasures. Yeah. So when he gets to the point where he needs those target locks, when Josh needs those target locks to mm -hmm. launch the missiles, he can just pop countermeasures. He can only, he can only chuck one, though, right? Uh, and... Actually, Josh is pretty pretty well um, uh, well placed to actually counter countermeasures because he's got tracers, thread tracers, right? True. Yeah, yeah so, that's a great point. So the idea uh, he doesn't even need to take the target locks to begin with. 
He launches Thread Tracers when um, combat starts, uh, and then hands out target locks to all the all the other ships. Um, Here was the beginning of our aggressive move up. Yep. So there's going to be a probably a range two joust here. Yeah, unless Kelvin decides to just try to run it in and bump. Not necessarily a bad idea if you want to avoid all those homing missiles. Yep. Um, oh, looks like we have a little chat window here. Excellent. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, why don't we put it? Hmm. Can we can we shrink that at all? Oh, we just lost uh, the. Click on VTT Live. So we're just trying to get our chat box uh, up and running here. What happened to the chat? Yeah, go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Where would you like to play? Uh, it's transparent, so why don't we put it down here? Yeah, we'll just go middle. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. You want yeah. That width? Yeah, I don't think we need to see is, too much. Is there anywhere we can make any of it smaller? Like, is there a the font itself? Uh, you know? Sorry, everyone. We're oh. working on our chat. Right now. <laughs> well, there we go. So, uh, looks like we've got Ray who did that charge forward in effort, uh, in an effort to avoid. Um, I can't change the size. But no, that's, that's okay. fine. Yep. Okay. Uh, and uh, so Ray did that charge forward in effort to avoid all those homing missile shots. I think it looks like the rear two shuttles are going to be able to get shoot. those off. Well, only one of them actually. So the fourth one here is uh, the shuttle. Uh, so the, the the rear bomber is going to be able to shoot. Right, good call, Mike. Um, the front two aren't going to, though. Um, not a bad move then by Kelvin. Nope, not a bad move at good. all. And Kelvin's popped his countermeasures, which means uh, he's going to be able to... Um, uh, he's going to be able to um, have that extra die there. Oops, Looks like we've got one hit. <coughs> To evades. And evaded. So that was Jake trying to shoot a bomber. Now it's Ray, it looks like. Four dice on. Gonna add the blank from Finn. Reroll the blank. Expertise Ouch. that for five hits or three, four, four hits on a crit. crit. That is some pain. Yeah, on one of the bombers, it looks like. Who rolled? Nada. Well, evade for one. So bomber number two has taken uh, three hits and a crit. And that's the beauty, beauty about Ray and jousting, too. With Finn, you get the extra die, and then you reroll your blanks. It's like we have a loose stabilizer. <coughs> so I believe he's going to take a stress next time he moves? Or is mm. that the white maneuver? Uh, loose stabilizer is... Do I have my... Uh, I think that's no straight maneuvers. Is that the red maneuvers when you do a white? I always forget. Uh, this is in at 401 Games in Toronto. <laughs> Alrighty. So we remove those blanks. So it looks like the thread tracers went off on Ray. Uh, so Josh is currently handing out all of his target locks. All of the target locks. <laughs> all of the target locks. Uh, we're just getting our little reference uh, reference crits out here. Uh, right. So loose stabilizer. After you execute a maneuver, receive one stress token. Uh, so that number two there is going to be having trouble. Uh, good question. How many players, Garrett? We've got. Looks like around 25, 18. 18. It sounds like this weekend. So uh, I believe what we'll be doing is four rounds and then cut to top four, and then obviously we'll finish that out. All right, spending 
spending some target locks. Spending focus for three hits. So Finn. Ooh. Yep. There you go. <laughs> some very nice dice. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing about Ray, right? You get so much, so many, uh, Ray plus Finn, and it just gives you so many dice. She really is such a different ship in a Falcon. Like you were oh, saying yeah. earlier, Mike, she doesn't fly like any of the other Falcons. No, no, it turns the Falcon into a Jester, uh, and a very potent one at that. Uh, then we've got Kanan, and I believe it's the new Falcon title. Almost certainly it's the new Falcon title. I agree. Uh, which means next round, I'm willing to bet... We're going to see a sloop. We're going to see a sloop <laughs> of some sort. Um, probably towards the bottom of the board here. Yep, uh, agreed. <clears throat> Jake is in a good position to just, what, hard two towards where Ray is now, uh, hoping to catch those bombers from behind. Yes, uh, I think that'll be exactly what it is. Yeah, that's, that's what, my bet. Now, he is stressed, so he's, yeah, he's stuck with doing a green. But, I mean, that's what, uh, that's what um, Jake Farrell does. Yep, we'll see some very long K turns probably by those bombers. Mm -hmm. they'll, do that. they'll dial in their 5K. They've already got their target lock, so they have no reason not to. Right. Uh, the systems officer. Actually, I'm willing to bet. We're going to see bombs. Yep. Um, because those are reveal bombs. Yeah, you're going to yep. see a couple of bombs. There are some fire sprays here today. Um, I don't have the list with me, but I did see a couple fire sprays. Mm -hmm. We'll try and get some of those on stream for you, hopefully. Um, it's always interesting to see a fire spray. I, I don't see Imperial fire sprays being played a lot. I like the scum fire sprays. Uh, I'm, I, I've been toying around with Amon Azamine a lot lately. Super fun now. Yeah, yeah, yeah lots of bombs. Yeah, with Cad Bane. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a list with that and the Skur uh, Nim going on. But uh, no scum at this tournament. This is an Imperial versus Rebel tournament only. Uh, so you're not going to see any any uh, scum fire sprays. Yep, so throughout the day you will always see <laughs> one person flying Imperials, the other person flying Rebels. The way that works is one of the players rolls a die, and on hits they have to fly Imperials, and on misses they have to fly Rebels. And then the opponent just takes the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are we doing? Threes. Uh, three forward. Well, okay, so here's the reason. He's, I'm betting the other bombers are all doing K turns. This one is doing just a three forward, so it can clear its stress. Oh, and he's the fleet officer. And has the fleet officer. So after they've done their um, K turns, they've got the target locks, then he can use fleet officer to lay out uh, focuses onto, uh, onto them as well, like he just did there. So he right. used fleet officer to give them focuses. Now they're going to K turn. That's and my bet. Yeah, I, I agree. And to be honest, that ship's probably not going to be the priority for Kelvin right now. He's going to want to wipe out those munitions as fast as he possibly can. True. I'm wondering about that, though. Would you not want to kill... Um, the mod? The uh, yeah, right, because those munitions aren't nearly as deadly without um, the ability to hand out target locks so easily. Well, there's that oh. K-turn, so the first one bumps. Wow, okay. Um, okay, but that's not a huge issue. The the other two and two one will clear. One and two will clear just fine. Yep. Um, number three dropped a bomb, so Ray's going to have to deal with that. Because she's going to sloop, and she's going to be in range of that bomb. I think so, too. Which is going to... Actually, this is interesting, because she's going to be able to clear her own stress uh, from flipping around. But when that bomb goes off, she's going to get another stress. Because uh, these are seismic charges. No, seismic charges are just damage. Yep, they're going to go off. Yeah, sure. so they just do damage. Thermal yep. debts are the ones that hand out stress. Correct. Uh, so it's not a huge issue. They'll do some damage, but... Um, oh, well. <laughs> right, I mean, I, there's nothing he can do about it. Yeah. And I don't know if he really wants to at this point, either. It's actually a shame they aren't thermal detonators, because thermal detonators would stress Ray out and uh, prevent her from flipping when she wanted to. Um that's actually going to be one of the interesting things today is, as you can see in Kelvin's list, you see a lot of the newer upgrade cards that mm -hmm. have come out. And I think it's pretty easy, and you even see it in a bit in Josh's list with the fleet officer systems officers. Yeah. Um, power creep is definitely a thing in this game, and your upgrades seem to be getting better. Expertise yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how you'll see these new takes on some of the older lists. Right, right, right. 
and just older ships you don't necessarily see because um, I mean there are better ships that are jump masters and defenders now um, but oh uh, is that a 5k? ouch yes I think so oh Kelvin what are you doing? that I don't understand um, can't tell I think he just got into his own head with that one to be honest I think it's actually the straight Right, no scum in this tournament. Um, <laughs> for better or for worse? It's just for, you know, uh, for the purposes of the, the theme of the tournament. Um, which is okay. We, uh, Scum's been dominating most of the tournaments, uh, most of the tournament scene anyways. So, you know, let's have some Imperials and Rebels having their fun, right? Right, and with the idea being that the original trilogy, it would have just been a lot of work to say yeah. what's legal and what's not. I mean, well, I mean, there's only the one ship, right? Um, the well, fire spray. Yeah, the fire spray. Um, you could say, I suppose, that Y wing scum Y wing. Oh yeah, still scum Y wing. Yeah. yeah. Um, fire spray scum Y wing, but nothing else is from the original trilogy, as far as I know. I mean, there's a Dengar's in the movie, like. Yeah, but, but his ship's not, so ship's I, not, I don't so. really know. Uh, and as, as we've determined here, it's, it's ships that matter, not the pilots. Uh, so yeah, just to reiterate everybody, um, the only card right now banned in this tournament is TLT. Yeah, and any ships that aren't uh, in the original trilogy. All right, what's going on here? Ooh, can we get our dice box back up? Yep, thank you. Can't see what's being rolled. I assume Ray is blasting into somebody here. Another four. Another four hits from Ray. Because that's what Ray does. She hits like a tank. It's yeah, pretty she gross. She really does. <laughs> pretty gross. And that is not going to be enough. Three evades. Which one did he take out? Two. Should you do number two again? Oh, no, he was flying four dice, so he shot into three. Y-Wings are allowed. Oh, yeah, of course Y-Wings are allowed. They're in the original trilogy. Uh, so any ship in the original trilogy is allowed. The Falcon, A-Wings, B-Wings, Y-Wings, X-Wings, obviously. Not the T-70. Um, TIEs, TIE Interceptors, TIE Bombers, yep. Lambda. Lambda Shuttle. Um, Fire and sprays. the tie advance, tie yeah, advance. and the fire sprays. Uh, anything we missed? I think that's about it. It's interesting that he had Jake run here. Jake wasn't really in a threatened position, but yeah, I'd be curious to see what he was thinking of. Um. Uh, where are we here? Okay. Alrighty. Um, so, who we shooting here? here? Let's see, it looks like Ray's shields are down. Um... <laughs> Oh, that was fast. Yep, but that's those homing missiles. Yep. Uh, he did manage to take out one of the bombers first, uh, so that bomber didn't even get a homing missile off. Yeah. Uh, and that, that I think, is smart. Um, yeah, taking out the mods is important, but if you can kill a bomber before it even shoots a missile, you're so much better off. Yeah, this list can just punch so hard. Yeah, yeah. Against a ship that, though it has a decent amount of hull, it eats the crits. Yeah. Um and it's really only getting two dice to mod unless you're range three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, A-Wing did run to avoid seismic charges. Oh, that's true. Um, yes, of course. We were a little perplexed on why he dialed in that five straight. Um, Maybe expecting those bombs. But had he hard twoed, he would have been in front of Ray. He could have barrel rolled away to avoid really nice the... Spot. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand. I was totally expecting the 5K, uh, or the K-turns, that is, so... I don't quite understand why not. Um, just turn, he would have had a perfect, uh, a perfect rocket shot at number three there. With that being said, though, Kelvin is a very good pilot. Oh, so don't I'm get me sure wrong. So had, is Josh. Um, 
he had something going on in his head. Yeah. Uh, Kelvin and Josh are some of the better players here in um, in Toronto. Uh, Josh Dirksen is actually uh, pretty famous in X-Wing communities as the creator of Heroes of the Arturi Cluster. So he's our uh, one of our local X-Wing celebrities. Uh, Kelvin himself has won a whole bunch of tournaments around here as well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. As well as coming in second in our, um, our league. A uh, recent league, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so um, we are, by the way, part of the Prototype Toronto League, uh, which is a, uh, a casual league here in Toronto. Um, the basic premise of our league is that for every season, every eight weeks or so, um, every player plays seven games, up to seven games with other players, and they have to use a different list each time. You're not allowed using the same uh, named pilot in more any, than once. More a than once. More than once a season. Uh, so the idea being that uh, we can get players uh, trying out different lists, trying out unique things. I mean, if you want, you could run seven fairly meta-heavy lists with different right. uh, unique pilots. But usually what you end up seeing is people experimenting with, uh, with unique stuff. Um, either stuff they're trying out that might be good in a, in a new tournament level, or stuff they just want to do for fun, like... Uh, um, it's odd because a lot of your meta heavy lists, though they're great in a tournament scene, when you're flying them against just random, random stuff, yeah. nonsense <laughs> that your opponent can put on, your very good list might turn into something very not good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got some banks going on from these bombers. Uh, so it's the ship is the big thing in this tournament. Um, I, I asked the same question myself on why is Ray's Falcon allowed? It's the idea that it's a Falcon. Yeah. Uh, so we're not worrying about pilots, just ships. Um, especially because, like, there's some pilots who... Um, Weren't in the trilogies. Is well, the big well thing. there's a lot of pilots, especially when it comes to Imperials. There's a lot of just made-up pilots, right? Like, um, uh, oh, who is it? Um, like, like they're just names like Hellrunner and, and oh, Muller Mythil and all this and stuff like that. There's just none of that that's, um, you know, or, yeah, Youngster and that's whatever. That's ever in the trilogies. Right, well, never mentioned specifically. No. Maybe some, you know, EU canon somewhere that's like, oh, this guy, you know, we have a book about the pilot who was in the trench run or whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> right, there's no... Um, not necessarily any proof a lot of these pilots even existed, right, in the original trilogy. Um, or they were never named until well afterwards. So, point is, pilot doesn't matter, ship does. Um, Fred, I don't disagree, we just don't care. <laughs> it, well, it's the same Falcon. Um, ooh, that is a good block on the Falcon there. Kelvin was not expecting the bomber to do that hard turn. But, I mean, and Falcon's right. still the not getting shot. The model of the ship is the same. Is that, oh, is that the new model or the old model? Uh, I can't tell. I'm trying new to model. It's yeah. got the square dish Yeah, it does look like the square dish. Um, but whatever. It's still, you know, still a Falcon. It ends up being the same thing in the end. Uh, actually, this is that's a perfectly fine bump for the Falcon. Sure. Uh, oh, range one, an arc of. Yeah, and and Ray's got expertise, so. And eh, who cares, right? Imagine has his countermeasures back still again. He did pop that number, that number two tie. Right. Yeah. Um, so countermeasures comes back. I didn't see him do the roll for it, but we just may have missed it. Yeah. Uh, you you definitely get the countermeasures back. The question is, you roll for the scavenger crate and see if right. it lives or not. Um, and it only disappears on a miss, I think it is. Um, so I think 75% of the time your, kind of, your scavenger crane sticks around. It's a yeah. really good upgrade. It's a fantastic upgrade. Uh, there we go. So, oh, wow. Oh, geez. Four hits and a crit, natural, plus Into expertise. So five hits and a crit against a bomber. <sighs> Two oh. blanks. Which one is it? Number four? Yep. Are we going to see a uh, TIE Bomber deleted in a single shot? And that's a... Oop, I missed that. That's quick. Loose stabilizer, maybe? Mm, yeah, that might be loose stabilizer. Or thrust control fire. Nope, loose stabilizer. 
Um, so after you execute a white maneuver, receive one stress token. Yep, nothing fancy. Flip it down. And that is on our number three, it looks like, under our other munitions dealer here. Well, like, the interesting thing about this turn is, I guess they're back to dials now, right? Ray had her shot. Uh, with expertise, the bump didn't matter. No shots coming in She gets her in rerolls, on so it doesn't matter. And no shots are coming in, because they're all uh, pointing in the wrong direction here. And then the other thing you have with Ray is, even if she's not an arc, she still acts as a primary weapon turret. Yeah, you can always shoot out that, and it's it's three dice, it's nothing to sneeze at. Um, what's this? Ooh, oh, okay. Uh, so we just got uh, from our tournament organizer, Billy here, just gave us... Uh, the list of prizes for this tournament. Uh, so if you're all interested, we actually have a lot of custom prizes for this tournament, including a whole bunch of acrylics by Curled Paw Creatives. Uh, and I've seen those. Um, uh, they included things like... An Ship markers. Uh, an acrylic, um, acrylic bomb tokens, um, acrylic uh, dial covers. Yes. Uh, some custom acrylic dial covers. Uh and, and some target locks. Ooh, custom curl with target locks. Oh, those are really nice. Those are really slick looking. Uh, they look like computer chips. Um, we've also got some painted ships. Uh, so Kelvin Lau, who uh, who's playing here, donated a painted tie interceptor, and Eric uh, Zhang, I believe his last name is, donated a painted A wing. Uh, and we've also got um, a for the first player the 2017 regionals dice. Uh, so a lot of really good, uh, interesting, um, interesting prizes here. Uh, a lot of a lot of fancy stuff for players. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, prize pool for mm -hmm. players. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, no scum is not allowed. Yeah. Yeah, as we've discussed, it's only Imperials versus Rebels. Every uh, every game is going to be Imperials versus Rebels. Each player brought an Imperial and Rebels list. Alright, so systems, uh, sorry, the shuttle is just going to hide behind that rock there. Not a terrible idea. Nope. Now, actually, I'm curious as to what Ray's going to do here, because I don't think a sloop will fit. Um, it's pretty close to the edge. He could sloop towards the edge. Uh, but that's not necessarily the best idea. I think maybe just like a one forward, knowing that she'll be behind that shuttle. So I didn't check to see if that bottom right rock is um, two and two. It kind of looks like the it. The bottom right rock? Um, or bo a top right rock, yeah. Is two and two, because that would give me an idea of at least how much space that Falcon's got to move. Right. I assume it is. Um, so, another thermal debt laid out, uh, and focuses were handed out by systems officer, fleet officer, that is. More K-turns. So, those bombers are uh, just trying to catch Ray in a box. No, Jake actually managed to get out of the way of those seismics. Yeah. Oh. Hard one from Ray. Interesting. Yeah, so he avoided the sloop. I guess trying to avoid that bomb. Uh, looks like he's still in range of that bomb, though. I think so, yeah. And it's so easy to bomb big base ships. Yeah, and he's in such a, a perfect spot for uh, homing missiles from number three here. Uh, he was down to one hull, though. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yep, number three is down to one. If so I had three, to guess, we're three's just going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Scale. yeah. And Jake is boosting right behind... Oh, that was interesting. Why not boost straight? Um, Number one, though, I think is going to get missiles off. Yeah, he but... He looks like he's out of range. Right so now. that's the interesting thing here. Jake turn, uh, boosted, uh, bank boosted instead of boosting straight, and is now maybe doesn't have a shot at number one. Uh, had he boosted straight, he would definitely have a shot at number one. Uh, it might not be range one, but I'm pretty sure it would have been. Yeah, it was an odd mm. call. Yeah, I, I don't understand why the bank boost, because um, he'd have his prockets here. And it looks Ouch. like he's just shooting his primaries. Um, 
Which is a shame. A pocket shot there would have been great. Oh. Uh, Hit crit goes into no damage. Yep. Spending the focus to stay alive, number one. That's interesting. I would have kept the focus for the shot. I think I would have, too. Yeah, because taking one damage? Yeah. Looks like uh, number three is an arc of Ray, so Ray's going to get to do her... Shenanigans. Massive shot. Uh, they haven't seemed to have resolved the bomb yet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, Ray's taking another damage from the bomb. Ray's just using her primary turret. Three, di uh, th three hits. Oh. It's still going to be dead. Because it was down to one hull. So, yeah. Yeah. So, bomber number three off the board before it gets to shoot its homing missiles. Yep. And sure, Ray's taking a bunch of damage. She's only down to six hull, but she's in a good spot, a good spot here. And here comes a missile. Yep. Range two homing missiles. But see, this is why I would have kept the focus. Same. I right? completely I, agree. I would have taken the one damage. And just laid out as much as I could against Ray here. Because, um, I mean, for all we know, homing missiles are going to come off, and he's going to end up with, you know, one hit and three blanks or something. Um, now, with homing missiles, I think you still get to spend your target lock. Um, so he's still got the one mod, but... Yeah, with chips. He's, but, it's something. Yeah, it's something, but four dice with chips plus mod, uh, plus focus and uh, target lock. Hello. Oh, there we go. Looks Never like mind. he didn't need it. Yeah. Two crits and two hits. Focus. So Ray is going to take hit, crit, crit. Ooh, that's real bad news for Ray. Can't see what those crits are. Looks like one looks like a direct. One's hit, a direct. And the other is damage a damage engine, engine uh, which is all hard maneuvers are red. That actually hurts quite a bit. It's now sitting in those rocks a little bit. I'd assume now he's probably just going to do a sloop out. Sloop next turn, catch yeah. the catch bomber number one, and then like Jake clean up bomber number four later on. Bomber number four has no munitions and no uh, no. Sorry, no bombs, no no missiles. Right. That's um, the thing we need to keep in mind is Ray is almost dead. Yeah. But Jake against two bombers. Is Jake a will clean up. Pretty yeah. okay spot to be in. Yeah, for sure. Um, bomber number one, like, should have eaten a Procket last turn. And that would be my goal this turn is get Jake into Procket position. Rip it off the board. Uh, and Ray into a uh, firing position on bomber number one, yep. who is moving, you know might do like a two straight or something like bomber number one doesn't have good options here maybe a one bank or two bank uh, i forget which greens they have um two uh, bank away yeah it's in a tough spot right now yeah. i mean an a wing behind you is yeah. not good uh what i would do with bomber number four the shuttle is actually move to block ray's sloop if I possible would too. like a too uh, hard uh too hard or two bank um, uh, down towards the bottom here uh, just to block Ray's sloop because if Ray can't sloop then bomber number one has a much better chance of surviving this round right <coughs> and Ray has a much better chance of dying yeah I mean oh. we could see the death of Ray yeah I would not be surprised turn. if Ray dies um, this turn with that the being said though Kelvin does have his countermeasures back true like, he'll, we'll probably see him popped um, and if he can keep those things in arc there's so just a one bank. bank. Okay. Now, it would be interesting to see Ray do a sloop to the uh, to the left. Because if Ray sloops to the left... Very got, good spot. He's got the bomber, um, uh, the shuttle in arc. Uh, he'll have to give up on the opportunity to kill bomber number one, but that's fine. Bomber number one's laying out another, another seismic charge just to... It's not going to be good. <laughs> no. Oh, so bomber number one's actually moved to uh, block the A-wing. It actually did put Jake in a little bit of a hairy yeah. spot. The question is now, is does he care and he just hit, eats the seismic? Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a damage. Take the one damage and worry about it later. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... so um, 
Kelvin slooped the other way to avoid the block, and now has a perfect shot on the shuttle. May make him eat a bomb. Uh, he is going to eat that bomb, but it's only one damage, not two, thankfully. And the shuttle doesn't have a shot, neither does the bomber, so... Uh, oh. Does that block. That looks like a block. Yep. Nicely done. Nice block from Josh. <laughs> oh, is that in range? Looks like. Or no? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I thought so, too. Yep. So Ray's down to one hull. But it's currently a position where she is not blocked. She can lay into that shuttle easily enough. It's a range two shot, it looks like. Yep. In arc, too. In arc, in so arc. you get your four dice. Oof, ugh. four hits. <laughs> Just, ugh. I mean, even with the rerolls and stuff, Kelvin has been having excellent rolls. Uh, so that's three damage on the shuttle. I mean, that's the thing, though. With expertise... He didn't even need it there. Right. But. Um, I mean, he's got the reroll. All focuses are automatically turned in. It's it's going to do work. Yeah. Well, and that's that's why um, this game would, I feel like, be a lot different if, um, if Josh was running... Thermal debts instead of that seismics. stress would have been huge. Landing that stress on Jake, right? Double stressing Jake would be fantastic, or shutting down Jake's PTL, yep. um, shutting down expertise, right? Preventing Ray from uh, from slooping. Yeah, their dial just becomes very predictable. Yeah, after yeah, that. yeah. It becomes a lot more, a uh, lot more predictable. Um, but I mean, what would you need to do to fit? Because they're an extra point, right? You would need to chuck. One of the what, systems moon. officer would have to come off. I think systems officer is three or fleet officer is three. Let's see. It depends on how badly. If you wanted it on all of them. Well, it depends on how Josh wanted to set up his bombs, right? Like you could easily drop homings to concussions. You have thread tracers going off on one, so you could be focus target locked. True. Um, but the call for thread tracers to kind of counter countermeasures yeah. is a great call. Yeah, for sure. Um, and even not countering, just being able to get all those target locks. Like, there's right. a lot of good action efficiency here with Thread Tracers and um, uh, Fleet and Systems Officer. Now, the thing about Thread Tracers, of course, is it happens during the combat phase, so you get to choose your target, right? You're mm -hmm. not wasting target lock actions. Okay, we're over here. So I wonder if we're just going to see a long turn by Josh to get that last shot in on Ray. Long K turn. From? Four. From the shuttle? Yep. Yeah, just try and get that one damage in. Yeah. Because Ray's not in a good spot. Well, Ray can always sloop back the same direction she came. Uh, which... Oh, hard turn. Would be a good choice, actually. Uh, because that would catch that bomber. Um... Ah, uh, yep. That's exactly what he's going for, actually, it looks like. But, like, I mean, Ray can still sloop in there, right? The right. bomber will get a shot if I think it that's doesn't where die. that barrel roll is yeah. coming from. And number four. Oh, oh it's actually there we not. go. So now you've blocked both of Ray's sloops. Yeah, so this puts Kelvin in a rough spot. Yeah. I mean, Ray's doesn't have a great out. Yep, there it is. Right. Actually, the best call by Josh because now the injured bomber is not eating a shot. Yep. Uh, that said, I think bomber one is going to die here. It Ray's going to have a four day shot on bomber one with expertise, yeah. not stressed. Uh, you and can see a PS kill coming up here. This is just yeah. a tough match. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Just the pilot skill issue here is is good. Um, yeah, nice, nice blocks by Josh, but not enough, I don't think, because you're still going to have Jake uh, plowing into number one here with a Procket, probably. Yeah, come yep. on, variants. Yep, there it is, the Proton Rockets. <laughs> Oof. Uh, target lock, focus for four hits. 
So four hits on bomber number one. Ouch. And well, so only takes two. Only takes two. Bomber number one's probably gonna live here. Um, unless those four dice from Ray, like unless he rolls blanks uh, on his evades here. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> There's a hit crit. Yeah. And expertise. Zeus. He's not stressed. Why is he not expertising? Or is he stressed? I'm confused. So it looks like he takes three. Oh. So I think I saw an evade. So it looks like he's taking three back. Yeah. One being a crit. Uh, I didn't see it. You see that? Console fire? Yeah, so he's alive. No, not console fire. Which one's that? Oh, does that say direct hit? That's oh. a direct hit. Oh, it is a direct hit. Oh, there we go. Yep. It can be hard to read these sometimes. Uh, wow, uh, that actually changes things. Ouch, uh, man. <laughs> that was a, a nice setup by Josh. That. Um, but, I mean, just the pilot skill kill, right? And Kelvin, right. I guess, was waiting for it. He's just like, you know what? I will take this guy out when he had a chance. I mean, it was close. That guy almost survived. Yeah. Um, and had he survived, um, Ray would have eaten what? Well, it just would have been a three dice primary, which would have been enough to kill her. But now she lives. Now this is just a question of: Is Kelvin just gonna run with Ray? No, you and just, just let you Jake just sloop again. Off? You sloop again. Go for the PS scale. Uh, I mean, no reason not to sloop, um, because uh, that's your farthest move anyways, and you might as well yeah. be pointing in the right direction. True, well, you get the defensive. Right, and you get the defensive mods and the um, the ability to to shoot as yep. well, right? Uh, well, heavily, uh, and then Jake's gonna just hard two down, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think so too. Yeah. <clears throat> do, do, do. Well, the thing is, is if that bomber dials in a 5K, and uh, Kelvin might put him does over a that little slump, loop, though. If even if it does, and Kelvin dials in a sloop the right way, I think that'll actually put him out of range. Mm, yeah, maybe. And which way do you sloop here? Where do you think Kelvin's going? I would go right. I would go to um, away the from the, the icon on um, the uh, map. Right. All right. So we've got was that a hard two, hard three from the bomber. Blo trying to block Jake. Yeah, trying to block Jake. Trying to avoid Jake, basically. Problem is now the question is did Kelvin sloop south or north? Um, if Kelvin slooped south, there we go. Yeah. So he was anticipating the block, and now he's got that focus or that expertise. The main shot reason that my thought with that is now he can play, he can just ring around that bottom rock if he wants to. Kelvin can. Yeah. Like he can just kind of skirt around it mm -hmm. and be a turret. Yeah. But that bomber's so dead this turn. Yes, it is. Uh, well, I mean, maybe not. There's always a chance, a very poor chance. Hit crit. Add the blank, and there add we the go. focus, That's a dead hits. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, he could roll three evades. And oh, there it wow. is. <laughs> he takes one crit. The shuttle's taken one crit. So the shuttle live one more turn. Another direct hit. Uh, uh, shuttle's down to one health. Lives one more turn, but... I can't see the shuttle doing anything here to get out of this. I don't see how, yeah, he just won't get PS killed. I mean, I would be doing my darndest to kill Ray, but... Um, I don't think he's turret. ever wanted yeah. a seismic charge more yeah, than right? anything right Yeah, right? You would just drop one right here, and wherever Ray goes, yeah, he'd eat it. But no, uh, this is going to be a hard turn, probably, from the... Sh Shuttle? Where's that shuttle going? Yeah, you know, this is just the... Kelvin flew this well. Yeah. This is a good sure. matchup for him, too, because unless you can bring Ray down really quick, you need some munitions to be able to handle Jake with a bomber anyway. Uh -huh. um, oh, or Jake can just clean up bombers. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, a well-flown Jake could potentially 
uh, just avoid their arcs all day, right? Like right. Jake versus like two bombers, Jake could win that easily. Um, Uh, so Jake's going to spend the turn doing nothing, probably. I'm betting there's going to be a hard two of sorts. Jake's going to come down between the rocks. That's yep. my guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, he might. Kelvin's got the time right now. There's oh. 29 minutes left yeah. in a round. Um, he can plank away with a turret. Yeah. So why not? Yeah, and you only need to do one hit. So as long as that's in range. Uh, why focus? What's, what's the point of focusing? Oh, actually, huh, Jake's going to get a shot this turn. Hard one, get the focus, take the barrel roll. <laughs> uh, I love Jake. I haven't flown Jake in a long time. I have actually never flown Jake before. Oh, uh, man, he can fly like crazy. Um, it's actually really fun to partner him with uh, Kyle um, or anyone else who can hand a, out a focus during the... Oh, gross. <laughs> There's that range one shot. Hitting a arc, though, is actually what I was wondering. Uh, it looks like it to me, and it looks like they've decided yes, he does. Uh, target lock. Yeah, dead. Cool. That is a That's dead game. bomber. And that concludes round one. Yep. Yeah.